Flint City leaders taking their case to Lansing. They're asking the state to step in and prevent public safety cuts. Good evening, everyone. Bill Harris, thanks for tuning in tonight. The clock is ticking, and city leaders are trying to stop deep public safety cuts. This time, they're hoping the legislature will use part of the state budget surplus to help fund public safety in the city of Flint. NBC 5's Walter Smith Randolph. Our top story in the newsroom right now. Walter? Bill, emergency financial manager Darnell Early's budget calls for the elimination of 36 police officers and 19 firefighter positions. While State Representative Phil Phelps of Flushing says Flint and surrounding communities can't take the risk. He's hoping the legislature will step in. Genesee County leaders hoping for state intervention. We need a after losing a federal grant, emergency manager Darnell Early eliminating 36 police and 19 fire positions in the city's budget. I mean, we really need, um, you know, at least $5 million a year uh, for the next three years. With cuts on the horizon, State Representative Phil Phelps asking the legislature to step in. They're doing some things with the budget here right now, and we're wondering if there's other pieces of money that we might be able to obtain. Phelps adding an amendment for an unspecified amount of money to the state budget Tuesday, allowing lawmakers in Lansing to consider helping Flint. This is an emergency situation. The shortfall in the budget was not expected. Crime is going down. And we can't afford to change that direction. Darnell Early declining on camera comment Wednesday, but has previously said Flint will use all the help it can get. It's not safe for the city of Flint to lay off that many safety officers at one time. There is still a long way to go with the state budget. While Phillips got the amendment passed in the House Budget Committee, the Senate also needs to consider this measure. We're told Representative Woodrow Stanley and Senator Jim Ananick are also on board. Meantime, Flint City Council meeting over the next two weeks to see if any public safety positions can be saved. In the newsroom, Walter Smith Randolph, NBC 25 News. Walter with our top story tonight. Thank you.